Dan English. I'm a Magenic Principal BI Consultant out of Minneapolis office. Welcome back to another Did You Know screencast. Today we're going to be taking a look at SQL Server 2008 and the new data visualizations that have been incorporated in reporting services. Last year Microsoft purchased the code base to Dundas's data visualization components. This included the chart, barcode, gauge, map, calendar control, and the OLAP charting component. Only the chart and gauges have been incorporated into SQL Server 2008 so far. We're going to take a look and see a demonstration of the new gauge data region, and then take a quick peek at an enhancement that has been made to the chart data region, and along the way we're going to see some of the new changes and functionality that have been in, done to the UI. This demonstration today is going to be using the RC0 version of SQL Server 2008. already gone ahead and created a reporting service project in BIDS 2008, which is Visual Studio 2008. And for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the AdventureWorks DW database and analysis service project, which is available for download from the CodePlex site, for my example. And I've already gone ahead and created two shared data sources, one to the AdventureWorks DW and one to the analysis service database. Uh, for this demonstration, we'll be going against the analysis service database. Um, right away here, we're going to see a change that's been made. There's a design tab and the preview tab. We no longer see the data tab. The data tab has actually been moved to a new window down below here, and it's the report data window. And we'll go ahead and add a new data source. This is going to be based off our shared data source analysis service. Site. Query Designer for Analysis Service hasn't changed. Uh, we do have the ability to go ahead and import a, a file if we want. So if someone has already created a script with the MDX statement in it, we can go ahead and pull it in. We're going to be going against a key performance indicator here. We're going to take a look at both the goal and our value. Gauge report item here. We're going to see that we have the radio and the linear, and the linear also includes the thermometers. Go ahead and select one of these. So these controls are going to be great to display key performance indicators. So we're going to go ahead and set the scale property here based on our goal. So we're going to set the maximum value. decimals here, but 12% uh, was our goal, and our actual value is around 11%. Uh, one quick thing we'll note here is that uh, a new rendering option has been added for Microsoft Word. Uh, there's also been improvements made to the CSV format and to Excel. In Excel now you'll be able to actually, uh, if you have embedded sub-reports, so embedded data regions, it'll actually support that now. Take a look at the charts real quick. We're going to see that additional charting capabilities have been added. So we got more column types, we've got more bar, we've got the funnel, we've got pyramids, ranges, scatter, and polar. Um, we'll take a quick look at the column one. much anything you wanted to do in 2005, you'll now be able to do in 2008. Um, you can add multiple access points. You can go in here now and add a scale break. So if there's big separations in our data values, so if more than like 25% of the data values, um, there's a really large range in separation, you'll now be able to add this 
break in there. So that's really all I have for, for today in regards to the new data visualizations. Um, sooner or later, some of the other ones are going to be added in. In regards to the calendar control and the OLAP churning components, I hope you enjoyed the overview of the new reporting service data visualizations in 2008, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the screencast.